How's it going YouTube? Today I wanted to talk about the CV Funk modules, uh, of which there are quite a few now. Um, some new ones just came out recently, um, but they're pretty cool. They're very unusual, uh, I would say, or they're just like different than a lot of other um, VCV modules. So I'm just going to unmute this one and we can get started looking at these. Uh, this one's pretty chaotic. So I've got this impulse controller, which is a wild beast. I'm not even really sure what it's doing, <laughs> but I'm sending it a slow clock. And with that, it's taking that and it's splitting it up in different ways and creating little uh, envelopes, which we can look at with the scope. So you get the idea. So little envelopes, little attack decays. Um, they are varying because I'm modulating these parameters here. But as you can see, the lights go through it at different rates. And so these trigger at different rates, depending on which ones you are sending or you know, sending to your other modules. So. I've got these six bleak analog oscillators from Vault, and they're all going into the pressed duck, uh, which is another CV Funk module. And, um... And yeah, like, I've got some saturation going on. But the real thing that I'm doing here is I've, uh... I'm taking these envelopes, I'm sending them into comparators, and I'm taking a gate from each of them, and I'm sending them to this sample and hold, so that each of the voices is being randomly pitched whenever it's triggered. And, um... <laughs> little bursts. And, uh, and I've got these quantizers here. It's kind of annoying, because I had six voices and this quantizer is only for four, so I had to have another one, which is a bit annoying. Um, <laughs> just for my own, I don't know, OCD brain or whatever. But um, this hex mod is a pretty unique, interesting module. Um, and I'm sending the gates as well to the phase resets of this hex mod. This is kind of like a, a six LFO module, but it's a little bit weirder than that. And if I bring up some scopes, um, and we can just, I probably don't need that many, um, and we can just have a look what we've got going on in here. So it's basically sort of creating, not completely random, but pretty glitched out LFOs and then and it's modulating itself like this one's coming out of here and going into this node input and this one's coming out of here and going into the rate input so it's doing some pretty wacky uh, self modulating but all of these are going out into the pulse width, the waveforms and also over here in the Nimbus, which as I'm sure you know, or maybe you don't, but it's uh, it's clouds, basically. <laughs> it's Mutable Instruments clouds from Surge um, in this case. But basically this is just kind of like a random glitchy bursts of energy and it will get quite aggressive at times and there's no real predicting what it's gonna do. So, I'm going to bring this Nimbus back up. Take the feedback down a bit. Because with the Nimbus, you get a bit more extended flavor, you know, from each of the little bursts. That's quite mechanical and wild.
so yeah, I quite like this little little patch, even if it is kind of weird and brutal. But as we will find out later, much of these patches are pretty weird because CV Funk makes some pretty weird modules. So let's uh, mute that and go down here. Where we've got six, no, sorry, five Uros, also from CV Funk. Oscillators, pretty cool oscillators, I quite like these. A lot of uh, modulation options, they're kind of like a complex oscillator. And what's driving it is this Penta sequencer, which is really interesting. I haven't really used a sequencer like this before, but what it does... Again, if I bring up a scope, and we have a look... Is it... It's not completely random, like the... I am modulating some of these, but each of these knobs controls the pitch of each of these outputs. But the pitch of each of them is always going through like its own little sequence. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's just like a really nice effect. And I'm controlling the, the main pitch of the overall sort of brute note, I guess, or the central frequency that all of these are then mapped to, or scaled off, offset from, I should say, um, is coming from this little sequencer here which is being quantized. It's a little NISTY sequencer, it's like a Buchler sequencer. Five step, which I guess helps, or it doesn't help, but it's, uh, it matches the Penta sequencer. <laughs> um, but if I bring another, another scope, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. And... You can see they're all, they just, I don't know, like, it's just interesting. <laughs> I'm not explaining it very well, but um, hopefully these scopes give you some idea. It's just kind of evenly spaced, uh, or evenly um, intervals between the frequencies that each of these little sequences does. You can slew them as well. Which, I might have to zoom in for this. Which is, that's, you know, and as, again, as you can see over here. But I kind of like it just cutting between them. It's got like a, I don't know, kind of like a 70s vibe. And of course, all of these voices are being modulated heavily, as you can see on this little scope that each of them has. And that's coming from magnets here, which, again, I don't really know what it's doing. I've toyed around with it and I, you know, I understand uh, what, if I turn this knob, what happens and stuff, but I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> uh, it's got all these outputs and basically depending on how you set it, uh, you will get different, it's like a random module effectively. I can get a scope up again and have a look, but um, You know, it's just sort of randomly doing stuff, but depending on how you set these, it will populate these uh, outputs at different to different degrees. Um, it's like if I turn the temperature down, I just sort of fiddle with these. You can see that things start to collect in different areas, which changes the way. That, like now, you can see on the scope, this one's doing. It's just gone completely off the scope. Then if I uh, bring it back up, I'll just it'll start to repopulate in a random way. It's very interesting. I'm not really sure <laughs> what it's doing. <laughs> Interaction strength. I, I guess that's how they collect together. How they magnetize, you might say. 
Yeah. So you can see they spread out, bring that up, they start to collect together, or magnetize together. It's pretty cool. It's a very cool module. I think it's awesome. I think I kind of want it a bit more loose. Um, and all of this, again, is going to press duck. Uh, they've actually released a bigger press duck. Which I haven't used yet, but it's essentially the same. It's just bigger. <laughs> it's just more inputs. Um, but I really dig what's going on here. It's just a cool little vibe. And if I mute this and we can move on to the next one. Actually, I need to unmute both of these. So... I have to turn this down slightly. It's a little bit aggressive. So I've got a sign VCO and a string VCO from Surge. And I, I'm using this uh, strings from CV Funk and this Collats from uh, CV Funk also. Collats is kind of like a burst generator. And if I just mute this one, it's creating the bursts on the sign VCO. being modulated by this attack decay so depending on which step we're on it will uh well actually the step is the decay is being modulated by this uh addr sequencer and the uh attack decay envelope is modulating the like amount of bursts so if i bring it up get a lot more it's actually pretty extreme burst generator. Most burst generators are a lot more controlled. This one's kind of wacky. Which, you know, again, I feel like that is in line with, uh, <laughs> with CV Funk. Um, I think this strings, uh, not oscillator, module is really interesting. I'm just gonna unmute it. And I'm pairing it with Strummer from this, the Which is a really cool little module, but these two seem like they're just made for each other. You know, you get the strumming, and you get the guitar chords. Um, you can have individual out outputs, but if you just take it from the first one, it's just a polyphonic signal, which is what I want. And uh, I'm modulating which chords play with uh, this ADDR sequences, but these ADDR sequences. This one's on three steps, this one's on five steps, so they're kind of always shifting. And uh, these... That controls that direction. This controls the other direction, which is not working, because it's... Uh, just uh, do that real quick, you can see. Yeah. And... Um, yeah. Strummer is creating all of these plucks or trigs, which the string VCO is playing nicely, and it's been very modulated by Langor from Wicked. Bit of wave shaping, bit of filtering, and yeah, we've got a sort of interesting plucked oscillators. And, uh, just above that, I've got this little bass instrument, which is Boros, again. It's going into a liquid filter and a debriatus. It's a very simple little voice here. Just notes from ADDR sequencer, quantized. Just provides that bottom end and that context for the other chords. And over here, I am using press duck, but other than that, this is just uh, all other modules, and it's just a beat. And let's uh, unmute it. And I've also got uh, another... I'm splitting the signal into Debriatus, so... Let's bring the volume up. 
came up with it. So, very uh, deep and nasty. Maybe a bit like uh, Italtech or something like that. Um, let's mute, unmute these two first voices and we'll just see how it all sounds together. So yeah, pretty brutal. Let's just turn this down a bit. Uh, I really like the CV Funk modules. They're really interesting. Should definitely check them out. Um, I feel like they're just the sort of modules which are a bit perplexing at first. You know, like you you open them up and you dig in and th they're not as uh, forthcoming as you might expect, but they reward a bit of uh, toying around with. And um, yeah, they're just interesting. These aren't all of them, of course, there's plenty more, but uh, these are the ones that I found the most intriguing. So yeah, I strongly recommend checking them out. Um, and that's probably gonna do it for today. And I'll see you next time.